what you must know before getting into any relationship. Hi everybody, welcome to Wimpy the Talk. It's with you. Uh, we're continuing our relationship series and the what you must know before getting into any relationship. As I was reading the manual of life and one scripture that really, really blessed me was love thy neighbor, as I say. And I thought, wow, I'm expected to love somebody as I love myself. So if I don't love myself, I can't love somebody else. So how do I spend time in loving me so I am able to love another person? For those who have been following me will realize <laughs> it's something, <laughs> sorry about that, it's something I'm so passionate about. I only, I have one principle in life, it's, I, you can only give somebody what you have in you. And usually you're giving the actions that you show others, it's what you really have in you. We're expected to love ourselves, so what do we do? How do we then love ourselves? So we're able to love some other person. You know, most of us never spend time in loving ourselves, in looking out how many of us can actually look in the mirror and say, ah, oh, this girl, you look fine. Or oh, this guy, mm, you look a million dollars. You know, we don't. We're always complaining either one thing or another that we think is not right because papers, the magazines, the Facebook images have told us something different. So you look at yourself and you start to compare yourself to that thing. Which, has been, which usually is airbrushed and taken out and, and you assume you, you can be like that and you start to hate yourself. And because you hate yourself, the expectation is, oh, when I go in a relationship or when I have a relationship, then they will make me, then I will be loved. You're, you're deceiving yourself. If you cannot love yourself, there is nobody who can love you better than you. Once you know that, you will spend time in loving you. Because when you spend time loving you, you're able to love. It's easier to love somebody else because it comes from the heart. Normally, we're all following the, the love. For me, I look at love in two aspects. Love is the lust and the intentional love that I spoke about in another video. You know, So there are two types of love. Always be careful. Look for the intentional love that comes from within you. Not because of the um, the whole butterflies, I love you, I love you, I love you. And then when issues come, the love goes. Genuine love never goes anywhere. It only just enhances who you are. So nobody will ever complete you or me. We need to know that we come in any relationship complete. So if you're not completed, spend time in learning yourself in loving you so that you're able to love somebody else the other area that we want you to look at is being kind to yourself being compassionate to yourself how compassionate are you to yourself yeah you can look at yourself and say you know what i like to be a size 10 well, i'm not a size 10 so i'm not going to cry and hate myself i'll love who i am now when i get to a size 10 i'll be happy the happiness will not, I'll not stop being happy or stop loving myself until when I get to a size 10. Because that will be the, the wrong energy I'll be sending out for the other person. And so they will only receive what I, if I don't like me, how am I expecting somebody to like me? It's impossible. So when you're compassionate to yourself, you think you say, you know what? Yeah, this girl is fine, but there are a few areas I should work on. So when some other person, you meet some other person who also has few areas that they're working on, you're able to understand your own issues and you're more compassionate to them because you can put yourself in their situation because that's where you are also at. Because none of us, the truth is none of us are perfect. You know, the Bible reminds us we are beautifully and wonderfully made. But the world we live in, for one reason or the other, we lose that. And we're always looking at external influences to decide who we are so when we learn to love you from the inside out whatever anybody would come around you they'll love you for that 
the next area that you need to walk in before getting into any relationship is forgiveness. <laughs> that is one of the most important areas of life and it's the most difficult things I mean you need to go through. Forgiveness is powerful. Forgiveness, I'll talk about forgiveness in details in, in another future videos. Forgiveness is powerful because if you don't learn to forgive yourself, how many of us have decided, oh, you know what, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to say that, I'm not going to take, and then you end up saying it. And then you think, oh my God, why did I do that? Why did I say that? You know, we're always so empowered, so powerful after the act has been done you know so by so doing what was satisfying the flesh when you know that when somebody else has made an error just as you have made your few shares of errors you can forgive yourself for the errors that you have done you're able to genuinely forgive somebody else knowing that all of us are struggling and navigating life at different frequencies at different areas to become better people it's easier for you to go in a relationship knowing that we're going to enhance one another. We're going to complement one another. We're going to raise one another up. You know, uh, I fly, when I fly planes, the, when they come to talk about the safety thing, they always talk about when the oxygen, they're talking about the oxygen mask. They tell you to put your mask first before you put the one on your child. And I always thought, that's me. I need to put my child first before I put on mine. But now I understand, if I'm not in a powerful position myself, how am I going to help my child? If there's a fire on me and there's a fire on my child, if I take off my fire, I'm able to then fight for my child. But if I'm burning and she's burning, there's no way I can then secure her. So we'll end up, both of us will die instead of me securing myself and helping her out. When we know that, when we know the importance of how important it is to love yourself. Not in a vain way, not in a very um, prideful way, but in a genuine love and care and compassion, tender loving of you. You're able to, to reflect that. You're able to give that to somebody else. For me, and you to be better people tomorrow, we need to dig deep and become a blessing, not only to ourselves, to the next generation behind us. Join us as we dig deep to become a blessing. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay with us. Check our website. Follow us on social media. And do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.